and welcome to today's video. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be playing around with another Kaleidos palette. I have all five of the Kaleidos, Kaleidos, Kaleidos palettes. Um, I recently played with the Kaleidos Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette. I will link the like kind of look I created up in the eye here so you can go check that out if you wish. Um, I also have the other four in my hand. So at the point of filming this, Kaleidos or Kaleidos, however you want to say it, have actually just released or sneak peeked I believe it is, sneak peeked their next launch which is is the Escape Pod palette, um, a lip gloss, which is really, really cool, looks beautiful, two blush palettes, like blush duos, um, three or four highlighters, I believe, and two sponges, I think that's it. It's kind of like a big collection, but a small collection at the same time. It's got a lot of different products in it, but it's nice and compressed, not too overwhelming. Um, but I thought, what better time to actually release these videos? Hopefully, by the time I release these videos, it has just launched, so if you're thinking about picking up any of these palettes, you could throw them in your basket when you go to purchase a new one, if you choose to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to play around with these. I've already played with the turquoise, like I said, linked up in the eye, um, and I don't know what I want to play around with. I mean, I've been kind of just picking them at random, not doing them necessarily in order. I'm kind of feeling playing around with the Futurism number one sci-fi green. I have obviously got the Futurism 2 cyber bronze, the Futurism 3 astro pink, and the Futurism 4 uh, VR Neon, VR Neon. I was gonna play around with the Neon today, but something's calling me, something's calling me about this palette. Now, I did mention in my other video that the artwork on these palettes is amazing. Like, oh my goodness. The dedication that's gone into this sort of artwork is so, so cool. So that's the Unicarton, and then this, the palette itself. It's so, so beautiful all the way around. It's absolutely stunning. So it's a magnetic palette. Oh God, there goes the slip. There's the magnetic palette. So you open it like this and then you get the mirror here. I'll try not to blind you. There we go. You get the mirror here and then all six of the shadows. This is a dupe for the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette, I think, um, or a lot of people have said as well, but kind of more condensed. So if you were looking to buy that palette, but don't necessarily like Melt's quality, or you're looking to buy something from this um, brand anyway, and you wanted to see like you just wanted to dip your toe in. I think this is a great dupe. I know that they're kind of very similar in price range, so maybe not a dupe in terms of money, but if you're looking for that sort of colour palette, but a few more mattes, or you just want it more condensed, then this is a good option for you. I just feel like this is a really pretty palette. I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to be playing around with this palette today. I've kind of just decided that that's what I want to do. I will still be doing looks with these three palettes, so don't fear, I will still be playing around with these. But today I want to be playing around with the Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green. Isn't isn't it beautiful? It's so beautiful. And we do get the names, like the slip, this thing, you know, like the, the slip with all the names of the shadows on. That does kind of annoy me a little bit, and I said that in my previous video, is that it's a little bit awkward because I want to keep it because I like to know the names of shadows equally. It's annoying, you know? Again, I said it in my other video, but if you do want to keep the slip and you don't know which way round it goes, it follows the same, the same, like, here it says Kaleidos, or Kaleidos, however you say it, um, and then you just put the slip right over there so it matches up with the Kaleidos writing there. So that's the way round it goes. It doesn't go the other way up, if you're wondering. I'm feeling like a really green, olive, halo, smoky eye thing going on, not too cat-eyed out, but just like really sort of deep set smokiness. I don't know if these colours are gonna smoke out, but hopefully they do because they're gorgina. Um, so let's get ahead and just let's swatch this thing up. Let's swatch it up. This is the palette up close. If you're looking at these shadows thinking, Megan, they look like they have been swatched before. What trickery is this? Um, the truth of the matter is, is when I received these or when I bought these November 2019, yes, that long ago, um, I swatched them, well, I swatched was it just this one I swatched? Maybe it was just this one I swatched. I don't think I swatched all of them because some of them I definitely had not touched. Um, I think it was just this one. And I haven't applied on my eyes yet, but I swatched it to see on the palm of my hand and then I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that because I was going to show you guys the live swatches. But here we are. So I'm going to be swatching the shades this way round. So starting with this black called Dark Side. It's this beautiful matte black. Hopefully... So this is Dark Side. Oh! I'm not just saying it. That's probably the most consistent blackest black I have ever put on my body in my life. Holy, holy smokes. The next shade that we're going to swatch is this deeper green called E.T. Oh my god, it's so creamy. Ooh. So this is the shade E.T. 
Ooh, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. There is a tiny bit of skipping in this colour, but that might just be my swatch. It might not be the actual shade, but it feels so velvety and beautiful. Oh my god, already two shades in and I'm already obsessed. The next shade that we're going to go into is this shade here, which is this true olivey green, and this is in the shade Smog. Ooh. So this is the shade Smog. Oh wow. That is like, it's got such a hint of yellow, but so, so beautiful. Oh, where we? Oh, I want to have fun with this palette. The next shade is this beautiful green sheeny metallic, and this is in the shade Glamora. Holy, oh my god. <laughs> Please swatch as nicely as that looked. So this is the shade Glamora. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Why am I filming this later in the evening? I want to wear this all day. I'm obsessed. The next shade that we're going to swatch is this lovely kind of yellowy swampy brown with a hint of green and metallic in the shade Nuclear. Woo! Again, I have high hopes for this. So this is the shade Nuclear. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, this is exciting me so much. I just love makeup. I just love makeup. Look at this. <gasps> and then finally I'm going to go into the last shade, which is this beautiful swampy brown, hint of undertone of green into it, but more of a yellowy pukey brown in the shade Radioactive. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is Radioactive. Oh wow. So there we have it. Those are the swatches from the Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green palette. Oh my goodness, does that not just look so beautiful to you, those metallics? <gasps> I mean, I'm sorry that I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I'm literally, I'm just, I'm in awe right now. That black, that black is actually blacker than my tattoo, which is kind of depressing. But oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay, so I've left you zoomed in a little bit closer just because we're going to be working on the eyes. Obviously, my face is completely done. I'm looking a little bit cakier today, but that's because I was picking at my face like an absolute idiot. So makeup has not laid on top of it very nicely, but everything that I'm currently wearing on my face will be down in the description bar below if you're wondering. I think the first shade that I'm going to go into is Radioactive, and maybe this is kind of uh, predictable. I'm going to shove this throughout the crease. I want to kind of keep it quite circular, this sort of halo eye that I'm going to do. I don't want to wing it out too much. I have got a tendency of bringing things out to the brow, like the tail end, but I want to try and keep this quite circular. So, yeah. <laughs> shade has just blended in with absolute ease oh I'm looking forward to this okay so I've put that radioactive shade all over the eyes and really really brought it down deep into the lower lash line and really high almost to the brow bone as you can see but try to keep it squished in a little bit to keep it more circular rather than winged out I'm now going to take the shade smog this one right here which is the lighter of the greens on this little flat brush and I'm going to just try and pat this on the inner and outer corner and just to create that sort of like the basis of that halo eye I'm just gonna work very very slowly so it doesn't get too too messy and muddy I'm gonna take a fluffy brush as well just taking a tiny bit of that product to start blending it into the crease a tiny bit as well just to start this blending process. I'm then going to take the shade ET, which is the darker green, and kind of focus this on the outermost corners to really deepen this area up. I will be going into that black shade, but I don't want to take this up into the crease. I just want to intensify the inner and outer corners. I'm going to go into the shade Glamora, which is this one right here. Um, and I think I'm going to take my finger and just kind of pat it on the centre of the lid. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I'm just going to kind of put it where we haven't put the shadow yet. And really work that into the centre. Kind of taking it slightly into my crease a little bit. And 
And then when the base of that product is on, I'm just going to take it on a brush and just kind of caress it where I want it to go. And then on a little pencil brush, I'm going to go into the shade Nucular. This shade right here is beautiful, beautiful, golden, green undertoned yellow. And I'm going to kind of just push it right in the centre of this greenness going on. Almost like a little yellow stripe. And hopefully that should just draw more attention to the centre of the eye. You might not be able to see it on camera, but I can definitely see it in person. It's just like a little yellow hint. And I'm also going to put this in the inner corner of my eye as well. Okay, and finally I want to use the shade Dark Side, this beautiful black right here. And I could be a bit more creative with it, but I think I just want to use it as kind of an eyeliner just on the green bits. So kind of avoiding the middle bit and just really tightly hugging the green. This is probably one of the most pigmented blacks I have ever used. Is so pigmented. This is kind of like the final look with the shadow. I want to go shove some mascara, a lash, and a lip on, and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. And that is it. That is the look. What do you guys think? I think it's very like smoky and very sultry. It's very, it's very green. It's very green. Um, I've paired it with this really cool toned lip. This is 0 0.0 by Colourpop. I don't know if they still have this in their line. Do they still have this in their line? I'm not sure. But it's just kind of like a cool toned brown and I have a lip balm underneath to make it a little bit more, um, not glossy, but a little bit more sort of, well, glossy I suppose because this does dry down quite mattifying like it's satin and um, so I've got like a lip balm underneath so it just has a little bit of a shine I really like this palette you guys this is this is a good palette this is very good this could be a go-to palette for me this is stunning sorry I keep blinding you with the mirror this is beautiful I have used every single shade on my lids and that's just you know I wouldn't have had to I could have just shoved one or two colours on the lids and this would have looked phenomenal. Those shimmers are stunning. I mean I've tried to make it a little bit more artistic and do something different by like bringing it right into the brow bone. Can you see that? I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to look in the viewfinder to see if you can see that but I've tried to like bring the colour right up to the brow bone for a little bit of interest I suppose but I really really like this. I'm very happy that I've bought this palette. I think the whole thing is absolutely stunning. I'm going to put it all away now with the slip back in. I love it. It's just beautiful. Look at the artwork as well. <laughs> I love it. So that is it, you guys. That is the Futurism One Sci-Fi Green by Kaleidos Cosmetics. I love it. You like it too? Because I love it. Thank you guys for watching. I really, really do appreciate you. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give me a good old thumbs up. Everything that I have used in today's video, including everything else that was on my face, will be down in the description bar below. So if you want to know anything that is on my face it will be down there. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on more content from me. No you would not. Thank you guys for watching once again and I will see you in my next one. Bye!